It's a very low barrier to get into the Gronk Squad. That's crazy. We've committed to do the Daily Talk Show for 10 years. So, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Put it in the calendar. Oh, that one here. I'd just like to check the temperature in the room. I told you my squeegee story. It is outrageous. Come on, let's go. <laughs> It's the Daily Talk Show, episode 1021. And we've only got a couple of days left. Yep. It's hump day, happy hump day. Uh, unfortunately, George is upstairs editing. It would have been nice to have him join, but he will yeah. be joining uh, either tomorrow or Friday. I guess Friday yeah, fr- will have- Friday. Yeah, Friday would be or nice. Or will he? Or will or, anybody? Uh, yeah. I, we're not a headline show, uh-huh. but just a couple of the top headlines mm-hmm. circulating on this day, the 25th of May, 2021. Critical 24 hours. Six new COVID infections confirmed in Victoria. And then the next headline, race against time as out- outbreak soars. Mm-hmm. Just to let you know what we're sort of dealing with on this day in history. Yeah, well, um, Jess got a message from her friend. Dude. Saying, um, hey, like, so we've had, there's been a few COVID cases in Melbourne. Probably not a big deal if you're around the world. No. Um, but the thing is that Australia has gone down a path of let's try and- Fuck um, off, we're full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have resorted vibe. back to yeah. that really ugly, mm-hmm. which originated, uh, I think, from um, cattle. It was a cattle oh, really? saying and then the racists took it over. Really? That's interesting. The racists get mm-hmm. everything, don't uh, they? Um, <laughs> no, but so what happened was, if you look at Australia, we've done well at eliminating it, which is not like, you can't take too much credit because it's basically we're because- an Yeah, we, there's, you know- we're isolated in, in a lot of ways. Shut the borders. But the thing is, um, we've done a terrible job, if you look at the rest of the world, of doing like vaccine rollouts. And so, it's when fun. there is some cases, all of a sudden you get five cases and everyone loses their mind. Mm. And um, Which has happened before and they mm-hmm. we got locked down for a few cases for four days or something. That was this year, dude. Do you wow. Remember, is it, yeah, f- yeah, doesn't yeah. it feel like- Ages ago. Yeah. And then we just had a few days off and then came back in. And so, there's, you know, the, we spoke about the, um, the uh, was it London strain? No, what was the first strain? The the one that was sort uh, of- uh, South African strain. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah South African strain. And now, um, uh, apparently, there's there's lots of different strains, but there's ones that are more sort of contagious. A couple Indian, of epidemiologists yeah. here. But yes, the Indian strain apparently is a, a nasty one. Dude, and there's two there's two versions of the Indian strain. Mm-hmm. B44. Blah, 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 blah. Really? That's not the actual term. But I was listening and so it's not the B4 blah, 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 the bat really uh-huh. the one that's Are they all numbers? Is it like a very long yeah, number? Some like, shit. Mm-hmm. But it is the B4 blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. and they said that it could be as contagious as the B4. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And you, that's not good. Well, they just said it could be as contagious, but mm-hmm. it's not the other. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. No <laughs> more of that. Done, yeah, done, yeah. Done. Done. Um, but I'm just trying to make mm-hmm. it known that I am an epidemiologist. <laughs> we I actually like uh, we updated our um, group message to epidemiologists, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is a pack of us. So day. get back to the story. Jess got a message. This is this is the gossip that we never got during the actually the first mm-hmm. sort of friend of a friend or someone that I know there's only been a, t- a couple of times and that was over a year ago of someone who got COVID and that was because they were in Italy this is hot off the press last night yeah. I get a fresh phone call. out of the horse's mouth fresh out of the horse's mouth yeah yes. yeah yeah so right ben, out of that because you always you normally Stallion. hear you, what you normally hear <laughs> is a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Yeah. Jess, I won't say Jess's friend's name because I don't like uh, your privacy. Yeah. But wh- one of Jess's best mates texts her and says, hey, I've, I've got COVID. Yeah. One of the five people in Melbourne. And so, the next question selfishly is like, have you seen your mate? Which is the go-to mm-hmm. because it has the flow on effect. Yeah. It turns out Jess, I mean, luckily didn't see her friend over the weekend but was meant to. Mm-hmm. And- this is like almost one tats lotto, but the opposite. So, yeah. it's like if that's positive- this You is almost the, got hit by a truck. This is almost, yeah. And so- <laughs> Your friend, friend got hit by a truck. Her friend was in Bendigo, uh-huh. which has been announced. Mm-hmm. It was amazing because we had the information last night. Yes. And then this morning, it is exactly what was mm-hmm. r- told by Jess to, yeah. to me and you. So, somehow <laughs> we've made everything that's happening right now about us. Yeah. <laughs> but I was which saying- Which is the Daily Talk Show, isn't it? I was, uh, spoke to Bree this morning mm-hmm. uh, and- <laughs> you, uh, yeah, Your uh, lovely your, partner. Your lovely uh, partner of eight <laughs> years. 13 years. 13. 13 George, I think George years. was the seven. Mm-hmm. Getting it mixed up. Anyway, uh, long time partner. <laughs> yes. Friend um, of the show, would you fr- say? Yeah, friend of the show. Uh-huh. Uh, Relative of the show. Yeah. 
family friend of the show. Um, she and you are going away. Mm-hmm. Maybe. We don't know yet. But she said, oh, this happens. And I said, without, it's not being mean, but mm-hmm. it's like, it's amazing how we do make it about ourselves. Like mm-hmm. it, the world revolves yeah, around yeah. us. Like Amy's sister's birthday's today. Mm-hmm. A year ago, yeah. we literally went into a lockdown on her birthday. She couldn't go away. So she's going, oh my God, again, me, this is it. Mm-hmm. My friend who went out and had a big night, he said, mate, last time I fucking went out and gave it a belting, we went into lockdown again. And so he he's doesn't, he hasn't, doesn't want to do a belter. Oh, that's good. Which is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, Amy always has seemed to come down with something when her annual leave rolls around. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's that's all we got. You're saying COVID's a mindset. <laughs> the the making it about ourselves is a mindset because <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's affecting well, everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's it's so um, natural. When the Malaysian airline flight yeah, went yeah, down, yeah. the first thing anyone said, it's not like, you know, how are the families of the passengers who have died? It's, yeah. I took a Malaysian flight in 2004. Yeah. That could have been me. Mate, that was 15 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> no. I know, but yes, uh, but it, it. I mean, thank you, Jess's friend. Mm-hmm. I hope she. I hope she's okay. Yeah. I did ask yeah. in the thread last night. How is she? Mm-hmm. Fever and sounded tight. Sounded run down, which is all of us right now. I know. <laughs> yeah. So what's? I the- was pretty sick the mm-hmm. other week, and so were you. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that is also the go-to. The amount of people um, that have said, "Oh, you know what? I think I got COVID." Yeah, that's in the early that's early days, one. who was it? There was someone. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, I think Bobby Bones. The no, 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 it wasn't Bobby Bones. Who was it? An American. Uh, yeah, no, there was. A, there's a guy, Lon Sybin, um, the guy who has Lon TV oh, yeah. that does um reviews. His his yeah. brother has the maple syrup company. F- yep, farm. Um, he, high chance that you, if you're a, an American, like mm-hmm. there's more more of a chance in here to say I got really sick at a point. And that may have been COVID. Well, he was saying like, so CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, which was in January, it's in January every year at mm. Vegas. Yeah. He was saying that he got really sick in Vegas and a heap of people got sick. And he is still doing antibody tests and all of that sort of thing to try and work out whether he had COVID during that time. It, it keeps coming back that he's, that he hasn't, but it was like, I was he's knocked out so yes. bad. I know. Yeah. People do look for a yes. Mm-hmm. If that's, I mean, yeah, it's a weird thing. Isn't well, you it? said it's- it was like the um, the reverse lottery. Mm. Some people just want to feel special for once. And get that sort of bonus well, it's, and it's, a few weeks off work. Well, it's like the woman that um, faked being in the Twin Towers. What? Yeah, she did. She was doing tours, speaking arrangements. And she said she was in- And she never so, was. Yeah, so she oh, was like- what a absolute gronk. It's that's, not ideal, is it? That's flat out lying and <laughs> yeah. flat out fraud. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like Profiting wrong on so from many, all yeah, these yeah. people. Yeah. You think having like a GoFundMe is bad. Oh, Imagine then doing inspirational talks and talking in detail about how you could smell the, the, um, the, the plane fuel- Oh, As it smashed up. into the, it's very dark. Uh, amendment from yesterday's show. You know how I was talking about those little wine bottles I get. Yeah, I must have been tired because I think I said eight hundred mil. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Who corrected you? <laughs> Me, because I went and got one last really? night. Yeah. Eight hundred mils would be a full <laughs> bottle, <laughs> it's bigger a than a bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mate, I found these real little uh, <laughs> two liter <laughs> wines. I've been joined. That's funny. So people think I'm going the big one, like <laughs> Magnum bottles of how big are they? Three hundred, three seven five. That size. Can you get you can get wine in a can, can't you? I nearly bought that. I bought the mm-hmm. eight hundred. I bought the three seven five glass of the one that comes in the can. Mm-hmm. As a piece of feedback from any beverage company, all beverages in cans must have a fizzy component. I think there's something very strange about drinking something from a can if it's not fizzy. Do you agree? Yeah, there is something unusual about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, kombucha is not crazy fizzy, but, but then it it's still has the a it still has a it F-F-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
Uh, no, pineapple. Did I mention this the other day? What? It eats your tongue. What does? Pineapple does. So, I was thinking about the kombucha and what it does, like a little tingly on your tongue. Yes. Pineapple does that because apparently it's got a molecule. I don't know if I'm using the right science terms. It's got a thing that will eat away at protein, which your tongue, uh, that's why your tongue is tingling because your tongue is being eaten by the pineapple. So, when you eat pineapple, always think, whilst I am eating the pineapple, the pineapple is also eating me, which what is if, very strange. But then what happens in the gut? Well, I think that we win every time because We're of our- superior. Because of the, uh, the acidity in our- um, guts and in our mouth even probably. Cannot confirm that. Yeah, well, we, we'll look it up. Um, Someone can. <laughs> some very nice emails have been have been coming through. Yeah, thick and fast. Thank you. We, we're going through them. Uh, if you've sent one and you, we haven't read it out yet, we will. Um, we've only got a couple more days, but uh, we got a nice one from Vicky. Yeah. Vicky's from Florida uh, and she says, thanks for the laughs. Wanted to thank you a bunch for getting me through quarantine. You two, Mason, George, Jess, Tully, and Tony. You, uh, I'd never heard of a podcast before you and have since watched all but 63 of them. Such wonderful entertainment during a hard slash sad time in my life. When I tell my grandchildren about my experience with COVID, I'll tell them how your bunch, uh, you bunch got me through it. That's nice. I feel as if I know each of you and many of your guests and I'm grieving the loss of my imaginary friendship. That's You'll lovely. be missed greatly. Thanks, Best of Vicky. luck to each. <laughs> it sounded like I was finishing dinner. Yeah, yeah, Best yeah. of luck to each of you in your new endeavors, hoping one day to get a notification that you have done a podcast. Thank you, that Vicky. That is true. That's how put, hit the bell. Put the bell on. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you could. You could, but if it's- yeah, maybe we spoke about it on the ten year mark when we're meant to, you know, do ten years. Maybe we'll do a an intimate um, pub show <laughs> in Stanley. All right, so we got one that came through <laughs> from um, not keen on that. Uh, it's the Stanley bit, yeah, maybe not. Ian and mm-hmm. Sandra Trainer. Mm-hmm. Ian has been an absolute uh, class act. Mm-hmm. Uh, Highly supportive. Yeah, very. He he was a part of the live streams mm-hmm. when we were in COVID lockdown. He had chickens running around his backyard. Mm-hmm. Great dude. Great dude. Terrible internet for a while there. Yep. But he fixed it. He made amends. Uh, so, he's sort of gone through- I don't know how he's done this. He's either coded together some- he scraped program. our website. He scraped our website. He's, mm-hmm. he's actually sent us back every guest that we've had. Mm-hmm. I was sus that he's somehow worked his way into our spreadsheet system about the show. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's given him access, but I'll look into that. But he said a bunch of nice things. Then he says, never, under, um, uh, never underestimate how important you guys were to so many people through some of the toughest times many of us have been through. 2020 was an incredibly tough year for a lot of people, and I believe you helped a lot of us through it. I know I used I, I used to hang out for the shows. Going twice a day was a huge commitment. It fucking was, Ian. Then starting Friday night drinks, I got to meet another group of amazing people. It also gave me my favorite bit of the show when you crossed to me to check out my internet, um, how it had been de- upgraded. That was great. Yeah. So, we, we, we got the confirmation. Well, yeah, because Ian's internet was, we were with, <laughs> if you um, are new to the show, 2020, we did about 10 weeks of Friday night drinks. That's right. Big Zoom calls. We had 20, 30 people. It was great. I think we got 50, almost 50 at one point. Yeah, yeah. Crazy and um, yeah, and so nudes. we would we would um, there were no nudes. No, there was one oh, there was, guy who got nudes. Yeah. He would take his top off. Yeah, top off. Um, and, top half nude. And uh, yeah, so we would cross to different people, different gronks. Yeah, and Ian uh, was uh, was one of them. And yeah, he, his internet was shit at the start, and then by the end of it, he was crystal clear. Yeah. Um, he said, "I do have a few questions." Number one: Does this mean Josh is heading off to Stanley to start his maple syrup import business? <laughs> Hard to run an import business from Stanley for a product that would probably just ship back to the the mainland, main, the mainland, the main yeah. chunk of Oz. To be honest, if I was to do it, I think <laughs> I would um, imagine a, like a maple syrup. No, so this is what it is, Ian. Out of Stanley, 
Yeah, out of Stanley. No, it's a nice Airbnb. Like, so Bree and I start an Airbnb. Do you know that Airbnb- Are you going to say he's illegal in Tasmania? No, but they lost billions. The the CEO was talking and I think he sold a lot of his shares, so he fucking cashed out. But he's Mm -hmm. probably still got cash based on, Mm -hmm. you know, the company doing well. But when COVID hit, they lost billions of dollars mm-hmm. of revenue kaput straight away. So yeah, it makes sense. And so, but no, like it, just doing the small, I'm not wanting to recreate Airbnb, the website. No, I just mean <laughs> I if just, anyone can even travel, like if the lockdown happens. is this- So my thinking is if we're not to get too- I'll get on the bit. Yeah. I want to do the business plan. Yeah, no, I, but I think- um, <laughs> Why start now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the- um, It might work. This time. <laughs> the- uh, No, I think it would be a setup where you sort of have a property and then you have a small- um, Could be a tiny home on the property. Yep. But the maple, there would be maple syrup uh, for breakfast, pancakes, that type of thing. And so, I would have friends and family would come down when they want to- yep. You know, relax, but then also it's an Airbnb sort of situation. But would they come down, friends and family? <laughs> friends to Stanley. Family, family. Oh, would family would come? Do you think your mum and dad would visit? Oh, the, your dad could bring the car across. Yeah, that would be nice. I reckon, you, I you reckon the that's car. the only way you've got your yeah, dad yeah, yeah, down yeah. there. Yeah. The car. Or if there was a car, if there was a- It would be on a, the same an event. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> event's happening. It's like, oh, mum, dad, and the whole Chevy <laughs> car club. What are you guys doing here? Dad's actually part of the- um, it's not the Chevy Car Club. It's a it's a different one. Um, Alchemy. What's his? Alchemy no, no. Name? He sold the Alchemino. He's got a 1969 Impala. It's That's the yellow, yellow one. It's yeah. great. But, it's great. Uh, but did I tell you, a guy knocked on the door uh, in Phillip Island where yeah. Mum and Dad live, and I was the only one there. Yeah. It was at the other weekend, and the guy's like, "Mate, saw your dad's car. Wanted to invite him to the car club. Oh, it was the Chevy Car Club. But then I found out that there's another. There's sort of highly political car clubs and so it was interesting dad's like oh no like I'm, I'm part of it well just politics bitching, of car yeah, club. bitching okay, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like oh that fuck can you believe richard runs those tires or <laughs> complaining about fucking merchandise or how the books are run all of that type of thing and so i said oh i thought that you were part of the chevy car club he's like no i'm part of the chevy cars made between this year and this year Oh. He actually said that he's like, oh, I won't say which car club that he was talking about, but he said, oh, those, that car club just has a bunch of fucking old bastards that are grumpy. <laughs> I was like, Richard, what are you? What are you? you know what? Like, that you know what I mean? Great. That's pretty that funny. Great. But no, I think mum and dad would actually just come down for a nice, a nice weekend. And um, yeah, I think that was the, fir- the first holiday Bree and I ever went together was to Stanley. Into Tasmania and we went to Stanley with mum and dad oh. in 2008, 17 Catch years old. It? Yeah, I vomited the whole way, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah mum yeah. said, uh, have something to eat. So, I had a cheese kransky and vomited. Penguin's great in Tasmania too. There's a little town called Penguin. Don't know it. Uh, anyway, uh, next question from Ian. Is Tommy going back to PT or even better, resurrecting his stripper career? Uh, no and no, Ian. <laughs> Do you think I'm you'd ever do it together? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm doing yeah, a stripper yeah. PT yeah. business. He'll he'll train your wife and then he'll <laughs> give her a lap dance <laughs> on the lap press, lap yeah, pull yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. Um, nah, neither. But you were even saying when you were um, younger, before you were sort of married and all that sort of thing, there was a a level of er- eroticness to the way that you would stretch clients. No, not de- definitely not. I mean, just. Compromised positions, yes. you'd more say. I'm not. But you pu- felt that you were getting hired potentially to for more stretching than there was. I felt there was some over, over the top. So, oh, Tommy, Tommy, oh, grabbing my leg, you know, just like a bit much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're just getting the. But you stretched. were, and so you. I lent into it. Yeah, you lent into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came yeah. out very nimble. Mate, um, that's what they paid for. That's what they yeah. fucking paid for. And so what happened? Uh, yep, next one. Is GB going back to Canberra to immerse himself in fireworks and porn? <laughs> <laughs> well, Yuri does that in Victoria, so why why go to Canberra for He it? said sorry, couldn't think of anything else Canberra has going on. 
<laughs> no, he's actually going back to get into politics, mate. It's fucking. Yeah. There's other things in Canberra. No, I'm joking. Um, we and, should ask these two questions. So we'll ask JB yeah. on Friday. And, and this one is for Jess. Is Jess yeah. moving back to being Bendigo to open a home for unloved whippets? That's a great. Yeah. But there's not many unloved whippets. Very, People th- love whippets. This is an interesting question. What dog is given away more? Like, what dog mm-hmm. is looking for a home? Is it Jack Russell's? Because they my can be a hates, bit- Yeah, mum hates know, they, but they ab- I love them, but they can be yeah. a bit fucking- My mum doesn't, little nippy. I don't think whippets would be one that are given away. Like They seem like they have a good temperament. Great temperament. I mean, we've done this on the show, which dog we would be. I'm pretty sure you said I'd be a Jack Russell. Did I? Can't remember. Nah, because you're bigger. Yeah. Like, you can't- I'm not going to give that to you. Mm-hmm. We're six foot two, both mm-hmm. of us. I don't want some little- that's you know it's good yeah, yeah. yeah um anything else the last thing i'd like to mention is if you guys tommy and josh never do another interview it will be a real shame you guys have a natural gift and the conversations you had with all those amazing guests were fantastic a real highlight for me for sure good luck with whatever you do in the future excited uh for your expanding family tommy enjoy every bit of it thanks for the good times ian Thanks, Ian. Re- oh, yeah. He co- this is great. He calls himself the really old Gronk. Yeah. Hashtag really old Gronk, which he's got kids sort of, mm-hmm. m- you know, a little bit younger than us, I think, and mm-hmm. grandkids. Mate, you, you're you fitter than all of us. Let's yeah. Say, he's a he, fucking machine. He's always machine. lifting. I saw is him it, like- yeah. I saw it's him annoying, being like- to be honest. He had um, some- What are they? What are the ones that you do this? Dumbbell. Yeah, dumbbell. Yeah. It was a dumbbell. Um, it was, I saw he took a photo of a dumbbell on Instagram and said, a hard session today. So he's a, he's a machine. Yeah. Absolute weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, I really hope that um, the next two days we can get through uh, before, uh, let's just hope it doesn't get fucking cancelled. Like the, not us, mm-hmm. Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, Melbourne. Yeah. We've Melbourne's got two days the- to, if, if, TJ PT'd you when you felt that. The- <laughs> oh, absolutely not. No, I reckon I, I've got more of a case against other really? people than anyone ever has on me. That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah. It's always the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's always better than the other hand. Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, we'll be here. Um, yeah. We'll be here for the next couple of days, hopefully. I think that like- um, Oh, I'm caring less and like with all this COVID stuff, it's an, it's annoying me. I'll do everything that we need to do because I'm not a selfish fuck sometimes. Yeah, but um, yeah, it was if we have to sne- if we have to sneak in to do the final shows, fuck fucking yeah. if yeah if the breakfast shows, if Brendan Favola can go in, yeah yeah, yeah. eating sosso rolls, yeah, yeah. in between breaks, and yeah. then we're okay. We're broadcasters. So yes. we're, we're fine. Yeah. Anyway, um, strap in two more days. Mm-hmm. Countdown's on. Hi at thedailytalkshow.com. If you want to send us an email, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Um, just anything. I think this is something I wish that we did more of, um, but it's, it's, we, it's we hard got, to say. Uh, do you know how many people think you won't get emails? Like Tully. What do you mean? Yeah. Tully used to say, like for her show, mm-hmm. she's like, who's going to email? Like yeah. she found that like a big ask. People email. Yeah. And we've had many, many mm-hmm. emails over the time. I wish we I, kept a track of We the have amount. an inbox. <laughs> no, but like, Ian, can you work out? Can you? Can we employ you just for a couple of days just, just to work out how many emails we got I from I can Crocs? tell you. Do you want me to look it up? How do you know that who it's from though? What I'm saying is- It has is, a from section in the yeah, email. But, yeah, but you're, you're, mate, you've got other things you've got no, on. No, but no, explain. <laughs> what's her hard bit? Working out how many listener emails we got for, for the duration of the show. Because our inbox also has other things filtered into well, it. Well, you just filter out any non, like, so stuff that's marketing related. So, you're like, okay, I signed up to these things. Yeah, you say filter it like out it's that easy, stuff. But have you got- It'll probably take me half an hour, but it's not bad. Yeah, I think yeah, I could You do love it, a yeah. challenge for shit that, that we don't need yeah, to do. Yeah. Well, but you've challenged me. So. <laughs> um, hi at thedailytalkshow.com. Just send us an email. Say g'day. We'd love yeah. to hear from you before we shut this whole thing down. It will still be online. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can go rewatch. I'm curious to see what the numbers are like, how many yeah, people, yeah. you know. Start from to- number one, mm-hmm. if you haven't. If yeah. you jumped in at like five, six, start 700, mm-hmm. start from the start. Yeah. All right. Uh, enjoy the rest of your hump day, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. See you guys.